Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great period in the presence of the Lord. You will be blessed today. The heavens will open upon you. God will glorify himself. You will be blessed beyond measure. The power of God will touch you. And the testimony of Jesus Christ will be awesome in your life. Heavenly Father, we give glory, honor, praise, adoration to you. We thank you for the privilege of life and strength. Thank you for the privilege of being in your presence. Bless your people today. Open the heavens upon us. Let your name be glorified. 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 In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. I'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us from around the world today. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed. You'll be highly favored. Your life will never be the same. God will give you an awesome, unusual, supernatural testimony today in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are joining from, we celebrate you. We appreciate you. We thank God for you. May I ask you, wherever you've joined from, that you please let your friends, let your relations, let people you know join us today so that they too can be blessed of the Lord. They too can be impacted by God. Welcome you from wherever you've joined me. I also ask you that you please take the time, take the liberty to invite your friends from everywhere. Take the time to connect with them. Bring them a morning glow today. It's going to be a great day. In the mighty name of Jesus, praise the Lord. We welcome you. Let us know where you're joining from so we can appreciate you and thank God for you. And we can speak the blessings of the Lord on your life today in Jesus' name. Well, we got our <laughs> other mic working, so we'll never let anything stop us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Michigan, in the United States, the Lord bless you this morning. Bedfordshire, blessings on you. Durban, South Africa. Saobo Nakunjani, God bless you richly. Lebroshkeya Kaye, because We bless the Lord for you, Jesus' name. Wherever you've joined from, let us know. Yaoundé in Cameroon, God bless you richly. Uh, Germany, we're in Germany. Italy, Parma in Italy. The Lord bless you richly today. May you be highly favored. In Jesus' name. Reda, Shkayara, Kosoro, Reikia. Spintex Road, Accra. Maseru, Lesotho. Tripoli in Libya. The Lord bless you this morning. May you be highly favored. Bayeku in Lagos. Bayeku is one of the 151 villages tied to the place we are holding our crusade. Make sure you join us. In the name of Jesus, you will be blessed. St. Thomas, Westminster Bridge. St. Thomas Hospital on Westminster Bridge. Blessings on you. New Jersey, United States. Blessings on you, Jesus' name. KICC Maryland, God bless. Igbe, Nigeria, blessings on you today. Takradi in Ghana, I'm going to be in Takradi to minister Almer, Almer in uh, Germany, God bless you. Sacramento, California, be blessed, be highly favored. Queens in New York, Nale Brozi, Kiarada. Dakula, Georgia. God bless you this morning. May you be favored. Malaysia, Yadada, Talara, Nandereda. May you be blessed today in the name of Jesus. Pretoria, South Africa, St. Paul's, Bristol, Ouagadougou in Burkina Faso. God bless you richly today. Charlotte, North Carolina. Carolina, Nayeredosha, Kalimbredozi, Peter Marysburg, South Africa, God bless you today, richly, 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 
Leicester, God bless. Jesus' name, Oxbridge, blessings. Thames made in London, may you be highly favored in Jesus' name. Yarabo Shai, Nedi da 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 do. Ye Mamoshka Yanda. May you be blessed today, may you be, may you be victorious. Praise the Lord. Smedic, I'm he uh, Hamilton Gardens in Smedic. Where is Smedic? Let us know. God bless you richly. Uh, praise the Lord. Custom House East London. God bless richly this morning. Warwickshire, uh, blessings on you. Uh, Haringey, North London. Sutton in Surrey. Abidjan, Lord bless you, Abidjan in Ivory Coast. May you be highly favored today. Burundi, the Lord bless you richly today. Jesus' name, praise God. New York, New York, blessings, 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 blessings. I have a village, blessings, Mende, Maryland, Lagos, Nigeria. God bless you richly today. Shayedo, Shaka City, Tali. Rido, the Netherlands, Voskoten in the Netherlands. God bless you richly today. Belvedere in Kent. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Yerabosha, ye karabosha, ye radado kosotalada. In the name of Jesus, may you be blessed today. May you be highly favored. Worcester. Worcester, South Africa. I like to know. Okay. From that name, I know the person is in South Africa, but I never knew there's a Worcester. Uh, Mombasa. God bless you richly. Uh, Amsterdam, in her name is Amsterdam, and she lives in South Africa. You wrote Worcester. I like to know where Worcester is in South Africa, please. You people have taken all our names from the United Kingdom. Okay, somebody's joining us from Ikorodu, Nigeria. We're coming to you. Jesus is going to be Lord over that place in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thailand, somebody's joining from Thailand this morning. Blessings on you in the name of Jesus. Redo Sheke Yaba, Reno Kozoko Yetele Kababa. May the blessings of the Lord rest on you today. Stand well in stains. The Lord bless you richly. Stoke. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Kayene, Shaya, Glasgow, Scotland. The Lord bless you richly. Warwickshire, blessings. Uh, okay, it's 100 kilometers away from Cape Town. Okay, all right. Mm, now I know. 100 kilometers from Cape Town. Been to Cape Town, but all right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Buttonsville, Maryland. The Lord bless you this morning. In Jesus' name. Free down here alone. God bless you. Even Buttonsville, Maryland. I like to know where it is. Is it close to Annapolis? Is it close to Bowie? Is it close to where is it close to? God bless you richly. Durham, North Carolina, blessings. Jalingo, Nigeria. Be blessed, be highly favored. Nakushayada. E Kozobira Te Rorora Ye Karado Shekayara in the name of Jesus E Kabondorosi Ye Barish Kayada This morning somebody is gonna be blessed. Somebody is gonna be favored. The hand of the Lord will be stretched. The power of God will be known. You will experience grace beyond measure in the mighty name of Jesus. Yada Tale Koshkabaro Hakni in London blessings. praise the Lord. Nayinde ko tumbre galashkay brodoshkaleshka yada Derby, God bless you richly, Tetford, no for God bless you richly. 
I'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. I trust, Lord, that you'll be blessed, you'll be highly favored, beyond measure, beyond measure, beyond measure. The Bible makes us to understand in Psalm 72, verse 17, that the name of the Lord endures forever. His name shall continue as long as the sun. <laughs> even that was used as an anthropomorphic language because even the sun can pack up. Because the sun, we now know, contains certain gas that makes it to continue to burn. But our God is from everlasting to everlasting. Nedota, Kedoka, Ketora, Meko, Skipria, Dashki, Lorus, Keti, Brano, Zayi, Nambro, Kazitia, Zili. So the name of the Lord is awesome. This morning, that's what we're doing. Oh, Jesus, we are prophesying the covenant names of God. We are prophesying and praying by the covenant names of God. There are about 16 of them. We are prophesying by the covenant names of God this morning. Nayadesha, Tidaraka, Rabozili, Janarada. His name shall endure forever. His name shall continue as long as the earth remains. To God be the glory. Alright, somebody just sent us prayer point from uh, Cape Town. Taxi Wars. You may not understand South Africa. Those small buses with like 12, 14 seats are called taxi. And if there's taxi, what that means, the drivers, etc., etc., are becoming violent against each other, holding the city to ransom. So we speak the peace of God. We break the power of that thing. We release grace in the name of Jesus. They call the buses taxi in South Africa. So we release grace, 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 grace. Upon the city of uh, Cape Town, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare the blessings of the Lord. Victory from today, testimony from today, in the name of Jesus. This thing will turn around to glory, it will turn around to praise. Amen. Jesus' name. So, the Bible teaches us that we should praise and exalt the name of the Lord. For his name is exalted and his name is supreme. His glory and majesty are above the earth and heaven. Psalm 148, verse 13. Names are given for identification. Names are given for verification. But the name of the Lord is not for identification. It is not for verification. The name of the Lord is a revelation of his person particularly the covenant names of Jehovah. They are his covenant names. The word contract is weak to use to describe what a covenant is. A covenant is more powerful. A covenant is spiritual. A covenant is more engaging. A covenant is more tying. A covenant is more powerful. Ne kala toso pakaya rikodo so tititele ranakloshki yadadi. And I pray for you today that this covenant keeping God will show up in your life. When we pray his name today, we are speaking who he is into our life. We are speaking his power. For example, he is called El. El means God. Mighty one, mighty in strength. May the mighty hand of God be revealed in your life today. Deuteronomy 32 verse 4. Also the name of Jesus, for example, came to him by conquest, by inheritance, and by conferment. Conquest, inheritance, conferment. It happens in the United Kingdom. Right now we have a 33-year-old billionaire who is the Duke of Westminster. He didn't do anything to earn it. It was conferred on him. He inherited it. In the case of Jesus, it was conferred. It was inherited, but he also conquered. Three ways he got his name. 
He conquered death. He conquered hell. He conquered sickness. He conquered everything that binds humanity. Then he was conferred and therefore God has given him a name which is above all names. It was conferred on him. Hallelujah. Jesus also got his name by inheritance. Glory to God. El means the mighty God. It's usually used in, in compound with other names like El Shaddai, El Elion. Praise the Lord. El Elion means the most high God. The most high God. The most high God. The God who is greater than greatest, bigger than the biggest, mightier than the mightiest. The Bible calls him so in Genesis 14, 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine. And he was the priest of the most high God of El Elyon. And he blessed him, that is, blessed Abraham, and said, Blessed be Abram of the El Elyon, of the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the most high God. In all of the prayers of Melchizedek, El Elyon kept showing, which had delivered thine enemies into thine hand. So we see him as El Elyon, the God who is most high. He's higher than challenges. He's higher than battles. So you came this morning to Mount Zion. You came this morning to the place of prayer. You came this morning to the place of crying to God. You came this morning to the place of the outstretching of his hand. He will not fail you. He will not disappoint you. He is too faithful to disappoint, too faithful to lie, too faithful. His name carries his ability. So he is El Elyon, the God who is mighty, 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 mighty in his possession of heaven and earth. Mighty, mighty, mighty. He is also El Olam, the everlasting God. Not only is he everlasting in duration, but everlasting in his faithfulness. So when we say everlasting, uh, you, you think that, okay, this thing does not expire. He is more than that. It also means everlasting in what he will do for you. So you can't come to God today and he's faithful. And tomorrow you find he's unfaithful. No, 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 no. His faithfulness is everlasting. His healing is everlasting. His blessing is everlasting. He does not change, age, retire, reduce, compress, repress, suppress, depress. He is forever the same everlasting God. Almighty God, El Elyon. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. So this morning as we prophesy into your life, get ready. Because something is going to happen. There are 16 of these massive great names of our God. 16 of them. 16 of them. And as we prophesy into your life, you're going to see him working in your life, proving himself as a mighty God in your life. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to see him at work. You're going to see his name at work. You're going to see his hand at work. Nali Kai Prado Zika. You're going to see his glory at work. In the name of Jesus, you're going to see him opening door. Wherever you are this morning, I prophesy on you that the Lord whom we serve will show forth for you and he will show his power. 
in the name of Jesus. The scripture shows us that he is Jehovah Jireh. Ye bro saya rabo saya. In the name of Jesus this morning, Jehovah Jireh means the God who provides or literally Abraham was prophesying. He told his son, he said, when we get to that mountain, the provision will be there. In the name of Jesus this morning, I prophesy on you that Jarrah will provide. Jarrah will provide. Jehovah 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 Jarrah will provide. Mai kuzi tali mati shidedi torono praning ketalinde rono zikayata likaba. I speak into your life today. You will not lack good in your life. Your father who has made covenant, because you see, Jaira is not a name tag. It's a covenant. It's a covenant commitment. Atin toloraba ika lerereta rido zosi ya rida da da da. Ha, this morning I prophesy that Jehovah, Jireh, will show up in your life. Show up in your life. Prove himself in your life. In Genesis 22 verse 8, the Lord, uh, his son asked him, where are, you, are we going to have the thing to, 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 to carry out this sacrifice, my father? And his father told him, that is speaking to our Isaac. He said, when we get to the mountain of the Lord, it shall be provided. Hallelujah. So Abraham called, and truly when they got there, as he was about to slay his son, the Lord appeared, and saying that you have done this. Ah, Abraham, you, threw, you surprised me. The only son that I gave you, then I asked for it. And you were ready to sacrifice it. When you are 100 and probably close to 140 years old, because this time is not when Isaac was born. Ah, I'm blessing our blood, bless you. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day it is on this, it is said, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. This morning, Taro Shikia, something that have just, that you need God for. The vision you need God for. I was writing all the budget for our crusade and it just scared me in the natural. Because we've made an announcement, we've announced to the world. And I have said, this is for which I was born. And for which whatever I have is going into. But when I saw the magnitude. But you see, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. Ah, God will provide for you. 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 God will surprise you, provide for you. Surprise you, provide for you. Surprise you, provide for you. Hell yeah! The New Living Translation says, Abraham named the place Yahweh Yireh, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, people still use that name as a proverb. On the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. I declare into your life today on that mountain of the Lord, you will see raw provision of God. On that mountain of the Lord, you shall see the raw move of God. In the mount, another translation says, in the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. Receive in the name of Jesus. In the mountain of Yahweh it will be provided. Receive in the name of Jesus. The Lord will surprise you with unusual provision. Unusual provision. We call in the provision from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. For everything you need to make your life colorful, beautiful. To make your life colorful, beautiful. Nalira Bosha. The Aramaic Bible says the word there means the Lord will appear. Of which it is said today in this mountain, the Lord Jehovah will appear. God will appear and provide for you. 
God will appear and provide for you. God will appear and provide for you. God will appear and provide for you. He Another translation says, Abraham named the place the Lord seeth. Whereupon even to this day it is said, in the mountain of the Lord, the Lord will see. In the mountain, the Lord will see. God will see you and surprise you. See you, surprise you. See you, surprise you. See you, surprise you. See you, surprise you. You will, you will never be put to shame. Because he's too faithful to disappoint. You will never be put to shame. Somebody already carried a katata. Irenadoboshkia. Rike Kosora. First Samuel chapter 10. He said, When you leave me and you move on, Samuel, Saul, you will meet three men. One is carrying goats, one is carrying bread, one is carrying wine. They will supply you, they will give you everything you need this morning. This morning, 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 the God of mighty supplies, the God of great increase, the God of mighty supplies. Ah, Likato Karala, Eh, Rosha, Nikusuleba, Ningarosia. I prophesied to you today, receive, 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 receive. And Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord provides. It is said to this day, in the mountain of the Lord, in the mountain of the Lord, provision will be made. Provision will be made. Provision will be made. I don't know what it is that you face this morning out of these 16 names of Jehovah. I prophesy on your life today. Katala Rido, Marare Resha, Rindeleba, Rikatalera, Testimony. Oh, glory. Testimony follows you. The doors are opening. The doors are opening. The doors are opening. Provision, provision, provision. We call in the supply from the east, supply from the west, the north, the south. Financial provision, spiritual provision, mental provision, emotional provision. Everything you need to make your life beautiful and colorful. Nalidita kazaya. Sari kosho brake kosantida hira kosonda on the mountain God will provide. Abraham called the name of that place Elohim Yireh, as it, as it is to this day on the mountain God will provide. Everyone that have read that mountain and you are wondering how 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 I speak into your life today God will provide 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 there will be a way out in the name of Jesus Jire will show up for you the Bible says book of Genesis chapter 22 verse 13 then Abraham looked up and saw behind him a ram in the thicket caught by the horns so he went and took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in the place of his son and Abraham called the place the Lord will provide so to this day it is said on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided and the angel of the Lord called Abraham from heaven a second time in that you have done this Ah, in blessing you will be blessed. Somebody today, I bless your hand. I bless your life. I put the oil of provision on your life. In this season, somebody needs some mighty provision to make a dream, a vision, reality. Receive, 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 
you need a mighty provision to silence the enemy. Receive, 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 receive. Tatatiko sotish na italisha na kaskita la rita la rita sundia. I speak into your life. Hale koto laba. Ika to kaze ikaya. Nambre kozo kaite. From this day. From this day. Receive. 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 May God show up for you. In a way like you have never known. May God show up for you in a way you have never experienced. The God of mighty provision, Jaira, will do it. Jaira, I don't care how big it is. Jaira will do it. Jaira will do it. Jaira will do it. Jaira will do it. The kind of supply they told you you will never handle. I had not seen. He had not heard. Hasn't come to the understanding of man. What God still has in store for those who trust in him. Everything God has in store for you shall begin to manifest, 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 manifest. Ah! I bring them into reality. I bring them into reality. I bring provision into reality. I bring supply into reality. Let it rush. Glory to God. Nabari di Rabari di Rabaru duru Rabari Rabari kito runada Rabaru toso kiati. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The God of uncommon provision. Ah! Somebody on the altar today. I want you to write in your testimony. Provision like you have never imagined is coming. 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 Supply like you have never imagined is coming. Tadati, tarati, tarata, tarata, ketota, tarata, tarata, karata, tarata, parata, torota, kerita, parati, tato, tabra, kita, tota, statikia, hishtatala. Receive! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Nari baru tori bari dari salam arosh kaya raba hi rabosa hi kalamosha. I prophesy this morning on somebody, whoever you are, wherever you are, God heals you, God blesses you in the name of Jesus. The next name of God which we take on this morning is Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. I am the Lord that healeth thee. That is what God said. Rapha shows up several times in the Bible. Sixty times. It means to restore. May God restore you. It means to heal. May God heal you. It means to revive. May God revive you. It means to deliver. May God deliver you. Wherever you are this morning. I speak healing. I speak total deliverance. Physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing, mental healing. Wherever you are this morning, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. It also means to rescue from the hand of disease and evil. Psalm 91 verse 14, the Lord said, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. God will rescue you. God will rescue you. Bring you out of shame. Bring you out of disaster. Bring you out of trouble. Heal, 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 heal. Alikadidita, irinadikita, I see a swelling. Somebody woke up and saw a swelling and they wonder, what is this? 
Lord, I lay hand on that person right now. I command that swelling to go down in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There are a couple of people on this platform with, I hear the word, a threat to life. Come back in the name of Jesus. We curse the hand of the enemy. We rebuke sickness. We rebuke sickness. We rebuke sickness. Come back in the name of the Lord. To thy health. To thy health. He rabayadasha. He karaba rika kapa kutaya. Everyone oppressed by sickness. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good and set him free. Those who were harassed by the devil for God was with him. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Every kind of medical condition on the platform this morning, whatever name they called it, I release healing virtue on your body today. I command healing. I command health. 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 I see somebody it's affected your dietary system. Ah, it has affected what you can eat, what you cannot eat. I release healing virtue on you this morning. I break the power of sickness and disease. I break the power of sickness and disease. Iraba, Toloda, Irada, Iriba, Iraba, Hirosha, Irika, Pradosha, in Jesus' name. Rafa also heals what can be called impossible. Get ready. Irada, da, 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 Maledorosha, Irielaraba, Ikearabasa, Iriborosa, Ikearada, things that are severe, things that are terrible, cancer, whatever it is called, leprosy, whatever it can be called, and then emotional ill health. Marital ill health. Get ready. Matthew chapter 17, verse 15 and 16. Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely. For he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciple, but they could not cure him. And Jesus laid hand and said, you of little faith. Then Jesus answered and said, oh, faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i bear with you bring him here to me jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the child was cured from that very hour there is no mountain we cannot move when I say we, I mean Jesus and I, since I have Jesus right inside. There is no mountain we cannot move this morning. Every mountain of cancer that have caused devastation and ill health and broken homes, I take authority by the mantle of Jesus today. We break your grip. We break your power. We break your grip. We break your power. Where you have pronounced death, we speak life. We speak life. We speak life. We speak life. Jehovah Rapha, rise and heal. Jehovah Rapha, rise and heal. Jehovah Rapha, rise and heal. Rabba, Hirosha, Hika, the God who heals, the God who heals, the God who heals, the God who heals. Rafa, that cancer which cannot be cured today, we take authority over it. Break its grip on that woman. Break its grip on that man. We release healing virtue. The marriage which cannot be restored, we command total restoration, 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 total restoration. The heartache which cannot be healed, broken heart, receive health, healing, receive health and healing, receive health and healing, receive health and healing. The wayward child who cannot be saved. We bring him back home today. Rafa breaks the grip of the demonic. 
every foul spirit, spirit of rebellion, we take authority, we broke your power. Come on, total release. Total release. Jaira sets you free. Jaira sets you free. Everyone with physical ill health and you are connected to this morning. I want you to hold on to the word this morning because you will be healed. Matthew 8 verse 1 to 3. Matthew 8 verse 1 to 3. Large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said. If you're willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said. Be healed. And instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Instantly. I command a headache to leave you. Instantly. I, I see, I see like gradually, I see somebody's intestine is being blocked. We wipe that thing out. That thing is deadly. I Take out, I take authority over you, foul spirit. I command a flushing out. I see pollution of the blood. I don't even know what that totally means. They're hearing pollution of the blood, pollution of the blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how blood can be polluted, but I take authority right now. I command healing, I command healing, I command health, I command healing, I command health, I command healing. I see somebody, I see there is gradual degradation of your eardrum. Gradual degradation of the eardrum, reducing your hearing. I see if something is standing between your ear and the sound that come. Today, I command a clarity. Ear, be healed in the name of Jesus. Ear, heal in the name of Jesus from today. Clarity. Ah, I see somebody, I don't know who it is. They may not even know what this issue is. But they're having some funny pain in their head. It's as if there is a level of blood clotting in the head. This is dangerous. I will lay a hand on your head. And I prophesy, I say, you would live. You would live. You would live. You would live. You would live, you would live, you would live, you would live in the name of Jesus. I break the grip of the enemy. I see a woman who, you look hale and hurty, but the enemy is planning to put you in the wheelchair. We break that thing. Break it. We break it. We break it. We break it. We break it. Receive your healing and health. Receive your peace. Receive your healing and health. Receive your peace. I take authority over ill health. I declare and decree total health. Total deliverance. Total health. Total deliverance. The power of the enemy is broken. Peace of God is on your life. I peace from today in Jesus name thank you Jesus <clears throat> I see somebody who needs emotional ill healing your heart is broken your your mind is hurt today I release healing into your life in the name of Jesus the woman with the with the issue of blood, it was more than just that. Ah, she was emotionally broken. Mark 5, 27 to 29, when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched him. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. Immediate, immediate. This morning, we command restoration. Total ill health, 
leaves your body from today. God heals your body, repairs your mind, repairs your spirit, repairs your body in the name of Jesus. Like this woman, receive complete restoration. Physical, emotional, relational, physical, emotional, relational. In the name of Jesus, Kayata, Toshuntai, Tikalibro, Nosoya, your happiness to come back. The Bible says, and the family of Job came back to him after the Lord had delivered him physical, emotional, be restored, be restored, your joy to come back. Somebody on the altar today, people have hurt your joy, they have damaged your joy, you have become sleepless, I release peace, 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 joy, 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 joy. Peace, 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 joy, joy. Kalaba, renon tali, kainga rosi, atalibro no tali, kaikata riyabara. I speak healing into your body this morning. I declare and decree total health. Emotional, spiritual. Psalm 6 verse 2, have mercy on me for I faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in deep anguish. Eh? Somebody on the altar today whose soul is in deep anguish because you've been so deeply hurt. I lay hand on you today. Ah, say, how long? How long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. May the Lord heal you emotionally. Laughter to come back to you. Joy to come back to you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 25, verse 17. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish every trouble of your heart god relieves you from it 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 everything that have troubled your heart i say to you this morning it shall be all right yes we don't know how but god will make a way it shall be all right laughter is coming i promise on you this one is psalm 30 verse 2 Psalm 30 verse 2, Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. As you have called on the Lord this morning, he will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. Ayakata, he will not abandon you. Ah! Don't let nobody sell another gospel to you that says you are not good enough to receive any more from God because you have failed him, because you have disappointed him. Mercy will cry for you in the name of Jesus. Grace will reach out to you. Left to man, grace is too lenient and mercy is too beautiful. Ah, if the gospel were from man, the kingdom of God would be impossible to enter. This day, Recalirosh, Marida Kaba, no Talibra. Ah, may mercy cry out for you, and may grace touch your spirit and deliver you, 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 where you have no sadness, where you have no sorrow, where you have known the bowing of head. Where you have known tears flowing when you are not even crying. Where you have known just remembering people who loved you before and now treat you like rubbish. May God write off everything they've done to you and put his joy that passes understanding in your spirit. Psalm 31 verse 7 and 8. I can see some people in my spirit right now. You've been so deeply hurt by what they did, by what they said, by how they treated you. People who call you names, nice names, sugar, honey, butter, whatever. Now they are the knife. They are the knife that carried the butter. And they, they are not just knife without butter. But hear the word of the Lord. Psalm 31, verse 7 and 8. I will rejoice and be glad in your steadfast love. Steadfast. No shaking. People are shifty. But his love is steadfast. Because you have seen my affliction. You have known the distress of my soul. And you have not delivered me into the hand of my enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. This is you. God will not deliver you to shame. He will not deliver you to those who will say, Aha, aha, we told you. You're serving God too much. Aha, aha. 
I prophesy on somebody this morning, the God who sees affliction, who knows the distress of the soul, shall reach the path no one can reach and heal your mind and spirit. He shall reach the path nobody can reach and heal your mind and spirit. He shall reach the path no one can reach and touch you and totally deliver you. Be free from today, be delivered. Be free from today, be delivered. Affliction is no longer yours. In the name of Jesus, everyone who have found themselves in some mental hell, physical hell, emotional hell, spiritual hell, financial hell, I come by the mantle of God, I pull you out from today in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34, verse 19 and 20. Psalm 34, verse 19 and 20. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Oh my God. Ah! Left to man you should have been broken. This scripture is too much. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yes you go through it. But the Lord delivers them out of it all. Then by the time they are delivered. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. It will not leave you damaged. That thing you went through shall not leave you damaged. You are coming out stronger. You are coming out better. You are coming out mightier. You are coming out blessed. You are coming out victorious. You are coming out stronger. You are coming out better. You are coming out mightier. You are coming out blessed. In the name of Jesus. Sickness comes without warning and leaves people broken. Yes, they come to that, they come cured, but they are never healed. But that's the difference. Our God, Jehovah Rapha, is healer, not curer. He is healer, not curer. Cures is to ameliorate. Cure is to blow air so that there's a little cooling and the pain comes back. Healer is to take it away. I release healing virtue on you today. No broken bone. Nothing broken. I love this verse. Psalm 34, 19, 20. Oh, we need to stay here. Somebody today. No, no. Psalm 31. No, Psalm 34. Verse, verse 20. Verse 20. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. I declare to your life today. Hey! You are totally set free. You are totally set free. You are totally set free. In the name of Jesus, you are totally set free. Nothing broken. Nothing destroyed. Nothing broken. Nothing destroyed. Nothing broken. Nothing destroyed. Message translation says, He is your bodyguard. Shielding every bone. Not a finger gets broken. In the name of Jesus. They left you for emotional torture. They left you to be broken. They left you to be crying. But the Lord says to you this morning, you are coming out better. You are coming out stronger. You are coming out delivered. You are coming out with testimony. You are coming out better. You are coming out stronger. You are coming out delivered. <laughs> oh, American Standard Version says, Authorized Standard Version says, He keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Nothing broken in your life. Only testimonies. I prophesy on this altar to somebody today. Nothing broken. Only testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. The NIV says he protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. You are coming out of it. Better than you went into the challenge. If you are listening to me wherever you are around the world today, I lay hand on you. Emotional strength, financial strength, mental strength, physical strength, spiritual strength, all-round strength. 
nothing broken nothing destroyed nothing broken nothing destroyed nothing broken nothing destroyed what killed others will see you and run what killed others you will kill what killed others will see you and run kayaba rikoto sebia dijuna me kikosu protish kai renu salari kayara for the lord protect the bones of the righteous new living translation no one of them is broken not any of your bones will be broken. what is a bone a bone is a structure that carries the whole house so God is saying all your dreams shall not be destroyed. All your vision will not be destroyed. That which carries your destiny shall stand. The bone, is, the skeletal bone is that which carries the whole of your system. It carries the whole of who you are. You are, <laughs> without them, you really are just a pack of, of flesh that can just be wrapped and put in a small plate. But the bones give you structure. I declare and decree, I declare and decree, I declare and decree. Your destiny will be awesome. Your future will be great. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. We'll prophesy into your life this morning. <laughs> Psalm 34, verse 19, 20. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The Lord delivers them from all of it. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. This is my scripture for today. Not one of them, not one of your vision will be broken. Not one of your destiny will be broken. Not one of your assignment will be broken. Rather, you will excel. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Everybody whose heart is failing them, Psalm 61 verse 2. God will make your heart not to faint. God will make your heart not to faint. He calls her. You will be stronger. Anyone who is on the platform today and you feel weak and unhappy, the Lord is delivering you from trouble. Psalm 41 verse 1. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in time of trouble. You are coming out of weakness coming into strength. Everyone on the platform today who feels so broken and unhappy and as if your heart is failing, nothing is working. Psalm 73 verse 26, I lay hand on you today and I prophesy. He says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Brother, lift your head up. God is your portion. Sister, lift your head up. God is your portion. God is your portion. God is your joy. You will not fail. God will not fail you. 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 You will not fail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you are in despair. And you've even doubted before. No worries. Don't say, God, I have disappointed you because I doubted. John the Baptist disappointed. He, he doubted. Abraham doubted. Moses doubted. David doubted. Elijah doubted. And yet God did not throw them away. You will not be cast away. Joy will be your portion. Strength will be your portion. Victory will be your portion. I close this morning with Psalm 91 verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Oh! Little sh He will cover you with his wings. Like a mother hen. During the time of terrible wind. There's an evil wind blowing across the world today. All manners of terrible things we've never heard of before. But you are protected. You are covered. You are kept. You will be protected. You will be covered. You will be kept. You will be protected. You will be covered. You will be kept. You will be protected. You will be covered. You will be kept in Jesus' name. And I close with my favorite verse for the day. Psalm 34 verse 20. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Ah! 
No, 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 no. Nothing broken. Nothing spoiled in your life. Only testimony. And anyone waiting to hear stories of broken dreams, broken bones, broken life, next time they hear of you, as the Lord lives, shall be your promotion, your health, your healing, your joy, your peace, your, <laughs> your deliverance, your progress. Shout amen, somebody. Somebody, wherever you are, shout a powerful, unmitigated, <laughs> like somebody said, uninterrupted, amen. Glory to God. You have the victory this morning. Somebody praise the Lord. No more delays to your joy. You will have divine encounters with God. I declare that glory will be released into your life. Unusual glory. You'll be the head and not the tail. You'll be the head and not the tail. This day, God gives you divine speed on some matters. Wonders, wonders, wonders. Sweet wonders all around you. Sweet wonders all around you. Get ready in the name of Jesus. Nayeba, I clean your ears to hear good news. I clean your ears to hear good news. I clean your ears to hear good news. Alaridosha. Somebody who's been stuck in the same place, shh, we shift you to the next level. Every battle at the edge of your testimony, every battle at the edge of your breakthrough is giving way from this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. The name is already working for you. Nothing can stop it. The balm of Gilead is healing you. The interceptor has intercepted every lie and washed it with his blood. The intercessor is crying on your behalf in heaven. The answers to prayer. He is himself the answer to prayer. Glory to God. Have you noticed when some great people show up in your life, you just feel like, it's done. My prayer is answered. I don't need to worry. This person is here. So shall it be. The advocate is here for you. Always will he do wonders to the glory of his name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, we give God the glory this morning. We praise him because he's God. There's none like him. None so glorious, none so powerful, none so awesome. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 A couple of announcements. And we'll close with a prophetic word. We're so close to the International Gathering of Champions. Make sure you prepare for it. The heavens will open upon us. The speakers will bless us. Grace will be poured out. The worship will be awesome. The times and the presence of God will be great. Great healings. Great deliverances. Great outpouring of the word. Register. Be blessed. Don't miss IGOC. Don't miss this time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please continue to Pray for us as we prepare for that big rural crusade that we're about to hold. It's going to be so big. It's going to be so awesome. Trust the Lord for all provisions for heaven to provide. It is huge, 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 huge an undertaking. Whatever we're even preparing is minuscule compared to the intensity of the need. And every day the need it continues to be even more intense judging by the challenges in the country of Nigeria. But for those of you who have access to use uh, various uh, payment platforms, uh, they have some, OPAY, GTB, Access Bank, FCMB. Uh, you can search for these banks and their payment platforms. Uh, and uh, you can make efforts to sow seed into the various accounts we have already given you. Christ's Compassion to the Rural World accounts, the, uh, the Euro, the Nigerian currency, the pound, the dollars. The need is so huge. Even 50,000 bags of uh, sachets of rice we want to distribute, 50,000 sachets of beans we want to distribute, 10,000 bottles of oil, 10,000 sachets of salt, of sugar, 
uh, five or I don't even know how many buckets we are pl planning to. I think five or ten thousand buckets. We want to produce twenty-one thousand exercise books. All these are so tiny. This the city we are going to because we have to do it. I'm, I'm bringing people from the rurals. The whole area, 151 villages and towns, has 1,093,000 people. Pray for me, man. Nowadays, it's waking me up. Really waking me up. And uh, I need more sleep, man. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We believe God. And then there'll be miracles, 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 miracles. Healings, 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 healings. Deliverance is deliverance. We celebrate the executive governor of the state who has been generous in making the stadium available, the hospital available for the surgeries. Pray for us, for people who will partner with us. We'll be buying medicines to give all those who will show up at the stadium. We are, do, we are hoping that some pharmaceuticals will also be great, graceful to work with us. We're giving 5,000 glasses away. Jesus, man. Just the logistics is something else. We have to be responsible for transportation to bring people from villages. We already met with 750 pastors. We will be holding another meeting with pastors, which we, we think we might have two, 3,000 uh, at the next meeting with pastors because the thing is spreading like wildfire. We believe God. Believe God. During the conference, which we hold also during the crusade, because we want to hold a conference for pastors. Uh, we want to be able to give them Bibles. I want to give them my power positive prayer Bible. Just 2,000 copies cost me 80,000 pounds. 80,000 pounds. But it's a joy privilege to be able to touch lives and make a difference. Glory to God. Souls will be saved. It's about souls, 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 and more souls. The vision, the dream of uh, Christ's compassion to the rural world during this period is 10,000 souls giving their life to Christ minimum at the Kurudu Crusade. If the first night 5,000 give their life, I'll be the happiest man. Oh, mama, mama. We're trusting God for 10,000 souls giving their life to Christ at this program. It's huge. It's huge. But God is able. God is able. We're going to come out with uncommon tests. We're using the stadium, but I can see the crowd spread out but we just needed a place at least on the Saturday we're using the stadium as a hospital we're believing God for awesome awesome things uh, also all kinds of things I want to do during this crusade we'll also be empowering 150 village evangelists 150 150 village evangelists so that when a Kurudu Igbogbo crusade is over, somebody is still taking the fire to the villages because there are 151 men. Ola Kata, Hite Brokozoya, Jani Brakozetele, Reiko Tokaba. It is possible. God will do it in Jesus' name. The Wealth Master Class will hold on Friday, 7 p.m. It will be. Uh, Part four of our teaching on real estate. The World Masterclass will hold part four on Friday, 7 p.m. To be part four, part four of our teaching on multi-generational wealth creation. We'll bring today's time together to a close. I'm sure you were blessed. We'll do so by prophesying into your life this morning galibara dishtiali makadu sambrotali i speak into your life today the scriptures second kings chapter 6 verse 5 and 6 then the man of god said where did it fall when he showed him the place the man of god cut a stick
threw it there and made the iron to float. They went and borrowed an axe head, an iron. And as they were cutting and chopping wood, the axe head came off and fell in the river. And that thing is somebody's source of livelihood. And he went to the man of God who said, where did it fall? He said, there. And he cut a little stick and threw there. Ali Kibro no Shiarika. The iron defied the law of flotation. Iron began to float like plastic. I decree by the power of God that nothing today will be able to stop you. And just as that thing was in the water, he said, Alas, my father, for it was borrowed. You shall not lose assets. You shall not lose blessings. What God has given you shall be secure. Cover your family and cover your sons, your daughters, your children, your grandchildren, everyone that connects to you. And cover them with the blood of Jesus. I cover your life with the blood. I decree also that lost opportunities shall be restored. I decree this morning. Lost time shall be restored. I decree and declare and declare broken relationships restored. Mercy will cry out for you and bless you. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Just one more. Gathering of champions, the t-shirts the, the and the polo, we've changed it. And this year I want to do it differently. You want to wear yours during the conference? That's fine. And this is an announcement to some of the members of those who are going to sing, the choir, the various uh, ministers and songs. There should be days when the choir is wearing some of these shirts, man. So we're not just waiting for the buzz. Some days the choir uses it even before the day of the buzz uh, music festival. So you're in the choir. Invest in yourself, bless yourself, and praise the Lord. It's going to be an awesome IGOC. The Lord bless you richly this morning. Chedubu benis. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bensoi. Yebarikesh. Buana kubariki. Mwariva kukumbrere wa muzita ra yesu. Nyamishra. Mkulunkulu agubu sisi. Good morning. Saubona. Bonjour. God bless you.